Hi guys, I am April Jackson, beautiful and wonderfully made, and today I'm going to show you guys how I made the shower curtain canvases for my living room. Okay y'all, so I have this whole big wall here in my little TV, and I'm like, okay, something needs to go on that wall. So I seen the different people doing the um, shower curtain canvas, so that's what I'm going to try to do today. Alright, so this is all you need. You need a canvas, and this canvas um, is 24 by 48. I got it from my local um, Michael store, but they sell them at Walmart. Maybe not this big, but they sell them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, different places like that. Um, Michael's was actually having a buy one get two free sale, so of course I jumped on it. You're gonna need a staple gun. I got the staple gun from Amazon. I linked that below, and a shower curtain, which I got my shower curtain from. So let's jump right into it. So you're going to want to um, place your shower curtain the way you want it. At first I was going to do it with the shower curtain on top of the canvas, but then I thought, okay, it'll be better if I put um, the shower curtain underneath the canvas. So that's what I'm doing here. Excuse my ashy feet. I did not realize my feet were in the video. I'm sorry, y'all. I should put on some socks or something. Maybe a little lotion. <laughs> so you only need about an inch um, worth of shower curtain to pull over. And then you just staple it down. You can tuck it if you want to. It's up to you. Um, by the way, if you wanted to iron your shower curtain, you could have done that in the beginning. I didn't iron mine. And you'll see in the end, uh, you can see a few wrinkles, but... It's no biggie. Just make sure when you're stapling um, the shower curtain down, you're pulling it tight. Because the tighter you pull it, you won't see as many wrinkles and it looks so nice. So just make sure you pull it tight, staple all the way around. Okay, y'all. So the shower curtain was so big, I was actually able to get two of the 24 by 48 canvases out of one shower curtain. And I still had to cut off a lot. So I'm debating if I want to uh, put them on the wall vertically or horizontally. Um, do you see, if you notice the one on the left is you see the um, hole lines in it? Because I didn't iron them out, so if you want to iron your shower curtain before you do it, it's up to you. But hey, nobody comes to my house, so. Nobody's gonna notice. But yeah, so they turned out pretty cute. Um, I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna place them on the wall. Okay, y'all, so this is how it turned out. I think it's really cute. I just need, I need a bigger TV for number one thing. And I feel like it's still neat because I have so much wall on there. I feel like it's still need something. But overall, the canvases themselves are beautiful. They are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. This was super easy to make. Y'all comment below and let me know how you do making yours. The hardest part for me was learning how to um, use the staple gun. Oh, I didn't realize there were different kinds of staples. Lord. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're not already in my Facebook group, Crafting with April, please join my group. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. Y'all, I'm out of breath. I'm so hot. Um, thank you for watching my video. Um, I love you guys. You have an awesome, blessed day.